Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to your last English lesson on the Non-Chronological Report. But before we begin, could you please pause this video and write the short date in your margin, which should be the 12th of the 1st, 21. So if you could do that now, that would be great. So today we're going to be writing our conclusion or our closing paragraph. The conclusion needs to be a summary of what you have said in your other paragraphs. You could also, in this paragraph, compare ancient Greek life to our life today. We don't need any new information in this paragraph. We just want a summary of what you've already said. So, with your notes and your planning sheet, I'd like you to pause this video and write your conclusion, your closing paragraph, in your English books. And remember to try and use some different sentence starters, vocabulary and grammar. Okay, so pause the video and now write your conclusion. Okay, and now you need to go back and think of a subheading. So I've put one here in yellow as an example. So you could have ancient Greek society compared to the 21st century. So again, pause the video and think of a subheading you could have for your closing paragraph. Make sure you underline this with a ruler and a pencil as well. Okay, as always, like we do in school, once you have written your closing paragraph, you now need to edit and grade it. So as I've always said, if you've got a purple pen, that is great so we can see the difference. But don't worry if not. And remember, when you're editing this paragraph, think about vocabulary and grammar you can add or change. So pause the video now and upgrade your work. Once you've finished doing that, you need to think of a title for your non-chronological report to write at the top of the page. So here I've got some different examples for each of the topic. So ancient Greek lifestyle, ancient Greek gods and goddesses, mythical creatures in the ancient Greek times, ancient Greek art, key people in ancient Greek history. So you can use one of these or choose your own, it's up to you. And remember once you've done your titles and your subheadings to underline them with a ruler. So pause the video and now think of a title for your report. Okay, well done everyone. So you should now have your finished report. But just like we do in school, I would like you to edit and upgrade your weakest paragraph. The paragraph you feel needs, needs the most improving. So the sort of things we want you to edit and upgrade is you could add more information. So maybe you feel like there's not enough information about that topic. You could add some grammar if you feel like you haven't done much of that. And here's some at the bottom of the screen. You could upgrade your sentence starter, so the way you've started your sentence. And you could upgrade your vocabulary if you haven't focused on that yet. So pause the video and think about your weakest paragraph and how you can upgrade it. Okay? Okay, so now that you have your finished report, you could draw some pictures around your writing like we've seen in class if you wish to do so. So pause the video if you would like to draw some images or pictures around your text to fit with the topic. Okay, and lastly, we'd love to hear your finished reports. So please, if you feel happy with it, post it on Class Dojo so we can see what you've been up to. Okay, thank you Year 5 for all your hard work today. You should all be very proud of yourselves for writing your non-chronological report at home. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and thanks again for your hard work.